Hello, my name is Michael Pomfrey and I'm the director of this TRIO documentary. I'm also the project director for Disabled Student Support Services here at Pikes Peak Community College. This documentary started a little over a year ago with the intention of capturing students' experiences in working with TRIO as well as the staff's experience in working with those students. Along the way, we'll talk a little bit about the history of TRIO as well as the history of student support services and disabled student support services at Pikes Peak Community College. And in addition, we'll look at the required services of the grant, as well as the eligibility for students to access services. And then we'll kind of really get into what it is that we actually do to help our students. This documentary is a little over 30 minutes. It can be watched in its entirety, or it can be broken up into two segments. So please sit back and enjoy. And if you have questions, our contact information will be at the end of the film. Thank you. We need TRIO. Folks in Congress want to zero that out of the budget. I think it's so important that all of us as students and as educators to not pit this program against the other, but to hold folks in Washington accountable for investing in education. Many of them, the students that have no options, they have parents that haven't gone to college. They are, for the first time, have uh, their grade point averages have gone up. What is the proper role of the federal government in supporting students pursuing higher education in the future and with the reality of today's world? And I think it's so important that as young people, as voters, as family, your voices be heard. So we ought to be looking holistically at how to best support and advance the opportunities that students have through career and technical training. My name is Jacob Strickland. I am a computer science major with an emphasis in cybersecurity. My name is Howard Stephen Guy. I go by Stephen. Rachel Morgan. I am getting an Associate of Arts degree. My name is Shelby Bryce Thomas. My major is in General Studies. Deborah Bouzier, and I'm going into Mass Communication. My name is April Slauson. I am majoring in an Associate of Science. My name is Shisha Fong. My major is Business Transfer. I'm an English major going for technical writing. My name is Steve Holmes. Just finished my Associate's degree here at Pikes Peak Community College. Well, my name is Cody Etzel. I'm majoring in Multimedia Graphic Design. My name is Tracy Asher, and I major in the Medical Office Technology Program, focused on medical assistance. Stephanie Anna Russell, going for an Associates of Arts degree. My name is Ashley McAdam, and currently I'm a pre-nursing student looking to major in nursing. My name is Lenore Macias, and I'm majoring in Associate of Arts in Business. In my first semester, I heard about TRIO, and a couple of things that came off the top, I was uh, a first-generation college student, but I'm also low income, and so both of those areas uh, got me into the TRIO program and really got me into something that was very valuable. I'm a first-generation, so I thought maybe I could fit into the program, and I applied, and I was accepted. I thought maybe it was for people that were struggling more. So when I uh, met with somebody and asked them, um, it turned out that it, it, it did apply to me. So I actually never went to school past the third grade. And so I was not, and I wasn't homeschooled, I didn't have any technical learning past the third grade, but I, I loved reading. And I, I got a job when I was turning 18 at Walmart. I decided this was not the life I wanted, I wanted to do something better for myself. A friend of mine who went to Pikes Peak Community College, she suggested that's go to Pikes Peak Community College, you know, you get a degree, you can better yourself. And so she took me here and I got registered and she said, because I'm a first generation student, I didn't have a parent uh, or anybody who went to, to college. She suggested, she suggested TRIO. She said, you know, you can go there, they'll help you out because they're, they help the first generation students. It's the math, because math is really not my forte. I usually have problems like I'll get like certain symbols and, and math equations mixed up. I know most people probably say math, but that's probably got to be my biggest struggle. Probably English because I haven't been in school for a while. Quadratic equations, when I first started doing those, those were absolutely awful for me. Getting into different linear algebra and things like that, you know, when you start mixing in the letters and all that good stuff, that was that was very challenging for me when I started getting into the more difficult math. Microbiology. <laughs> Everything about it is uh, very abstract almost, because even though can see cells and you can see bacteria. A lot of the functions of bacteria are completely, like, you literally can't see it. Math has always been my kryptonite and just always frustrated me, confused me. It even kept me up at night because I was stressing out over it so bad. The most difficult was, I would say, public speaking, but it actually has 
made me stronger and I feel I can socialize better. Uh, definitely public speaking. That was a class that I, going into it, was most afraid of, most anxious about. And it ended up being my favorite class because uh, the, the professor, uh, Christy Callahan, she made, it, she made it a lot of fun. I actually learned skills that I've been able to use ever since then. There's so many good classes here at Pikes Peak Community College. That's a tricky question. My favorite class? That's, that's a hard one to say. Well, my favorite class has been so far were like, were cultural anthropology, the two histories, and now I'm getting to really like sociology. It was ancient art, and while it's not even close to my major, I just, I thoroughly enjoyed that class, learning from prehistoric art to near modern art and everything in between. It was just an amazing course for just learning something new and interesting culturally as well. What I really enjoyed the most is my accounting class. It was the toughest class I've ever taken. It's the one that I learned the most, the one that I can use on a daily basis that's really helpful, practical. I can, you know, apply the knowledge that I learned from accounting to our daily life. Really love anatomy. Like, <laughs> I like memorizing all of that and learning. It's anatomy and physiology, so you get to learn the function as well as all the parts and just how your body works is fascinating to me. My group communication class with Professor Callahan, it was her style of teaching, her way of going about things. That was probably my most favorite class. The biggest challenge for me, I would say, is just adjusting, adjusting to the college life. I would say at first it was definitely confidence. I didn't have any confidence going into college. My biggest fear was not being, if I would be able to finish. Probably scheduling and homework time has probably been, you know, being very, very careful of, uh, okay, it's my lunch hour, I really need to work on, you know, my English or reading or, you know, making sure that I take a textbook to work. I was very frustrated, frustrated with where I was in life. Living paycheck, paycheck to paycheck, I would go home and play video games and watch movies and I would hang out with friends. And I just felt like there was something out there for me that was better than that, bigger than that. I wanted to better myself. I wanted to better my future family. I wanted to better the community. My daughter, when I open up my books, will sit there and, Mommy, I want to do homework too. It's not necessarily, let me draw with you. Let me do homework with you. Or can I play with your calculator? I'm going to do math too. And so it's kind of exciting to see a preschooler that excited. My passion for the subject that I'm learning, it fascinates me and I would like to be the best nurse I can be, best whatever I decide to be. I want to gain as much knowledge as possible and really uh, be one of those people who just are a black hole of knowledge. Like they're just they're just so full of their their experts in their field and that's what I admire most and so that's that's my goal and that's what inspires me to do well. My son, you know, graduating for him because I want to show him when it comes to his time for college, I want to show him that, look, mom didn't give up. Getting resources, I could say, because you were the help, one that helped me get a counselor. And if I need anything like tutoring or anything like that or know where to go. Trio and working with you has helped me a lot to focus on the things I need to focus. For instance, I had not been in to meet the nursing program and talk to them about really what I do need. And you encouraged me to do that. And when I did that, I found out that I had to take my CNA courses before the application deadline, not after the fact, so that actually helped me a lot. Scholarships has been a big one since I'm a mom of four kids and a husband and I work full time. It's kind of really hard to make, you know, ends meet with the budget, so, you know, scholarships are one of those things that, you know, students really look for. You provided the tools to help me, to give me the emotional support and the academic support that I needed to succeed. They helped me a lot with tutoring because I needed math tutoring. And then they helped me to apply for my financial aid. They have helped me to get scholarships. For me to get into that four-year school, which was scary in and of itself, they helped me with the admissions process. Um, she was able to help me with the FAFSA at that time, scholarship search, and they just, they ease my worries. They make sure when you're signing up for your classes that maybe when you're taking that math class you have a fun class to go with it. The best advice I can give is to take advantage of the program you've been allowed to be a part of. I think it's important regardless of anyone's age. If you're thinking about going back to school, don't second guess yourself. Do it. I would say 
absolutely come to trail. They will pour their hearts out to help you. It's a wonderful program. I, I highly recommend it. You know, again, the advisors are just wonderful. You know, if you do have any kind of issue, you just come to them. If you want to be somewhat successful, and it, it could be anything, if you want to go into nursing, business, it doesn't matter. You have to be able to make some sacrifices in your personal life. So if you're willing to make some sacrifices, if you're willing to work hard, literally like work till two o'clock in the morning if you have to get up at six to get the grades, then you'll go far. This is good for anybody who really need help, especially people with disability to think that, you know, they should really use the service. If they really need it, don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to go seek help. Don't be afraid for anything. The best advice is to take advantage of all the services that are here for them. You shouldn't be afraid to ask something that you genuinely need to know. When you hesitate, that's when you get into trouble. If you know there's something going on in class, you, you're better off meeting with them, you know, beginning the school semester instead of like in the middle or the end and trying to catch up. I, for example, don't comprehend very well. And so one of those things is finding different ways to work that, reading out loud and asking as many questions as possible, even if it sounds like it's a stupid question. You know, email your professor to figure out what's going on because they may be able to put it in a different way. As hard as it can be sometimes, don't be shy. Get to know your peers, your faculty, and importantly, get to know what all the resources at the college are. If you need the help, the services are there. Take advantage of it. Don't be afraid to engage and use the tools that they offer here at the campus. Don't stop. Even though you may change your mind and your, your major as you go along, be happy in what you do. You will be able to achieve your dreams, but you have to work hard. And don't ever, ever give up. And don't let that fear ever stop you from trying. I would just say probably buckle down. I mean, there's been times where I won't go sit in our break room um, to do homework because I know there'll be a distraction in there where I'll go out in the middle of winter time and I'll sit in my car and read because I know that my reading is more important. Even though I want to go socialize with somebody in the break room, I really need to read that chapter three for, you know, English. One of the things that I've, I've learned in the last few years is that it's not necessarily the most intelligent people who, who end up uh, succeeding in college or in life. It's the grittiest people. And so I know I'm, I'm not the most intelligent person, but I'm really gritty. I mean, I worked at Walmart for 10 years. I was basically uneducated. Educated. I did not have a high school degree. I didn't even go to middle school. I just knew how to read. Math, I looked at this and I was like, okay, I know one plus one equals, but you, know, you add X's and O's and, and algebra and I, and I hate you. And there are definitely times where I'm like, you know, I need to be doing better. Why am I not doing better in life or at school? And then they'll remind me, you know, it wasn't but five years ago you didn't have any education beyond third grade. And so I'm like, okay, that makes sense. I was working initially when I came and I ended up having to drop work because of my school load. Recognizing that balance was tough for me because I'm the kind of person who's like, yeah, I can work, I can... I can do a million things that I can't do. I know at one point in time, because of work and everything that I was going through, I was thinking about pulling out of school and, you know, pulling out of TRIO and just because I thought I was taking it away from somebody else who could benefit from the programs. And then I turned around and decided that, that was not a very good option because it probably, one, wouldn't come back. The whole reason for, you know, coming to school and taking those time to take those classes was gone. There's plenty of times I probably could have given up having surgeries and taking a semester off and then just like, okay, I'm done. But I was like, no, I'm, I'm determined. I mean, I worked really hard to get here. And I know a lot of my classmates at Pikes Peak Community College and elsewhere, they worked really hard to get where they're going. And I have to say that looking back and looking forward and looking where I am now, I'm just, it feels sweet. It feels, I'm proud of myself. I actually accomplished something that wasn't getting past a level in a video game or something like that. I kept waiting for the right time and the right time just, I turned around and I said, you know, if I don't do this, I'm never gonna do it. So I just decided to do the now, and part of it was, you know, my daughter coming home in the second grade and be like, mommy, I wanna be an art teacher and a dance teacher, and telling her that's great, and, you know, wanting her to follow her dreams, and my sons wanna be, you know, policemen and a fireman. The idea of them never actually achieving those was pretty heartbreaking and going, oh man, and then I looked in the mirror and I was like, well, you Fletchers kind of slipped by the wayside, so I'm gonna step up and, and make mine achieve. Having people that are there to be supportive and to hold you up uh, when you needed it. There's resources available to any student, to anybody who wishes to even start at a community college level. The opportunity is there, we just have to make the effort. TRIO is here to really help you 
and they actually care about you as an individual, not as a number. TRIO just wants to see their students succeed and to do well with their journey through college. In my public speaking class, I, I did a speech, and it turned out that the staff came, and they were there in my moment, and it was so special to me. Mike was my TRIO advisor for the first year and a half, maybe two years that I was here, and he ended up being one of the most important people that I've had in, in my life, but also in, in college. He would actually talk to me, not, not necessarily about the classes, but about like me, myself, and he made me believe in myself that I could actually do this. If it wasn't for Mike, I would not have went to USC. I would not have graduated from USC. And someday, if I will get a chance, I will return to PPCC and work for PPCC. For how much they have given me, I'd like to contribute what I could give it back. I always tell my kids to follow your dreams and anything is possible. Well it's kind of hard to do that when you've kind of sort of pushed your own dreams off to the side which is why I ultimately decided to come back to school. It's something that it's hard to it's hard to quantify. I, I just can't I can't tell you how that feels to have you know, your friends and family um, be proud that you've accomplished something like that. It's an amazing feeling. Enjoy every moment that you're here because you know one day you're not going to be you're going to be stepping up and into your dream job that you may never have thought possible. As long as you keep stepping, there's no telling where you can go.